just love that song. Every time I hear that song, it reminds me of this one episode from The Wonder Years, one of the greatest TV shows ever made from 1989, made from 1988 to 93. Anyway, what's up, guys? Elton McFool here. Turn, turn down the, uh, this radio. It's only, of course, uh, what, 73 years old? Uh, 63 years old. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, I had this idea again, once again, a couple of days ago, and I'm like, you know what, I gotta try once again to see if I can sell, uh, use my YouTube channel, and of course, uh, I would imagine most of you being the loyal fans who watch a lot of my videos, if not all of them, and try to harder to 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 showcase once again uh, not only the vintage original ads that I have that I frame, but also some few of my drawings and paintings. So. I'm going to try to make this quick, but, you know, I'm a man of details, and I, that's why I used to be great in customer service, because it's, it's all about details, you know. So, uh, I'll try to have a little extra light here. This guy here, uh, this is an old frame I picked up for a few bucks a while back. Of course, I'm thinking of my friend Scott and out in Alberta, because there's a Renault 5 there. Yeah, Renault 5. Or as it was marketed in the, in the U.S. as a La Car. This is on Laval Street in the 80s. Like you can even see somebody there. Anyway, this is the uh, closest offer to 10 bucks. So this picture is actually from a, a book. So it was part of a page from a book. This is a 1960 uh, Pontiac hubcap. Great condition, beautiful condition. I bought this with a few other ones uh, last year. So I'm looking for 20 bucks for this guy. This is a rare original uh, 1943 or 44, 43 I think, Willys. As you can see, it's a Jeep. And look how beautiful that is. Jeep in combat. This is 15. This is a picture. I think this is a 50s or 60s print. There's another one nearby. Just beautiful little thing. Especially if you're going for a really kitsch look in your decor, or your man cave, or your office, or whatever. This is $10. This right here. This is a drawing I did uh, oh, several years ago, back I think in 2011 to 2012. That's an STRSM, uh, which is Société de Transport de Réseau de, Mont uh, de, de Rive Sud, so the South Shore of Montreal. That is a 77 new look, and I did draw that by hand and colored by hand. It's an original, and I did that uh, based on a photo I bought uh, on uh, a slide photo I bought on eBay back uh, years ago. I still have that slide too. Beautiful, isn't it? Not cheap, though. You can imagine all that detail there of all this, you know, the Bonaventure uh, uh, Central Station tracks up there, this, you know, building here and all the buildings. There's a lot of work. So I'm looking for a 250 for this guy because the, the, the framing alone was a, uh, 150, 115. This guy I just framed recently. This, I had something else in here, but it wasn't selling. This is a heavy frame. I bought this off a guy I bought a, month, a couple months ago, and, man, this is heavy. And, yeah, of course, I'm trying to always push things I know more because it can sell than might sell and that is a 1998 Porsche 911 Carrera turbo and uh, it's hard to show you this without any reflections you can see by how the pages is two pages they don't line up correctly so it shows you it's it's not a it's not a copy beautiful item I just actually listed this on Facebook marketplace and that's uh that's uh 30 bucks Shoot, I, I just lost a clip to something. Give me a second, guys. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to keep this rolling because I want to upload this to my phone right away after. This is an original 63 Buick Riviera. Look at that beautiful vintage metal frame. Metal. By the way, anything you see, uh, I could ship anything, but if it's like like a you know big glass like this, I'm not going to ship it. Forget about it. But if you're really interested in this, like I don't know, you're formerly from the South Shore and you just take those buses, and you're live in BC or Saskatchewan, whatever, I can ship it without the frame. So that's not a problem. Speaking of my paintings, and you got this guy here, beautiful, uh, 38 Chevy painting I did a few years back. I remember. I did a lot of this in my bed, I think is when the pericarditis heart condition started, which, uh, knock on wood, is not really the case these days. I happen to have this frame I remember that I found in, in my room and happened to fit just perfectly, just beautifully. Very nice original painting. By the way, I only sell original stuff. I don't sell copies unless I mention it. You know, like that picture here. It's not really worth much. Original, beautiful, 53, 53, 53, 53, 53 Chevy Bel Air. 
beautiful Chevy Bel Air old frame I had to touch up, clean it all up. 15 bucks. So if you love boats, look at this boat here. Eh? That's a really old print. Look at this thing. Look at that sepia tone to it. Typical of the 60s, 70s. Look at that backing, eh? It's about 16 by 20. Nice heavy gauge quality. Very nice. And again, 15 bucks. I'll take 10 for it, not less than that. Check this out. There's another one I framed recently. Look at this beautiful thing. This thing is amazing. Look at that. That is just stunning. I'll try to get a little more light on that, eh? Just an amazing ad. That is a 1971 French European ad. That car is a Porsche. That uh, an amazing illustration of, that, that, of a car that raced at Le Mans or at Zumans. The color, it's, it's amazing. As a matter of fact, the stupid uh, light compensation in the phone doesn't ju do justice how amazing the, uh, the, the color is on this thing. Look at that. Amazing. This is 20 bucks just because it's, it's, I mean, it doesn't even matter that the frame is plastic. No, no, this is a rare item. And of course, I framed it myself. And not only that, it's also 20 bucks because actually I ran out of black paper for like a matting. So I just painted the cardboard here with black acrylic. Look at this beautiful thing. This is a frame I bought a few weeks ago. Beautiful vintage frame. Very hard to find vintage frames that have the corners like that rounded off. So I thought it was very appropriate. Very apropos, as we say, to put this beautiful, gorgeous original 38 Packard ad. This is also $20. Now, of course, incidentally, I'm making this for two reasons. Number one, Christmas is coming. And number two, revenue is still down from the YouTube videos. Seriously, I got paid freaking uh, recently for uh, October revenue was not even $400, okay? So I'm kind of dying over here. Like, seriously, I'm pretty much broke for the time being. I hate to say it, I probably, I guess, should have been, I should probably should have kept asking for donations. Anyway. Moving in right along, this is a rare, uh, this is a, a rare Montreal French uh, East End newspaper ad for a uh, East End uh, Hyundai dealer. As you can see, it was time for Christmas. I'd love to get this light more over here. Yeah, but I don't have an extension on this, so you know what I could do? I wonder if I could put my light now. I can't put the light on, can I? Yes, success. Look at that. So they're advertising the Hyundai Pony, which was a really big seller here in Canada. But they were such crummy cars, they didn't sell them in the States. They weren't allowed to sell them in the States, but yet the States had Suzuki's, which weren't a lot better. Look at this beautiful thing, 1966, yes sir, the good old GMC Stepside, the American icon. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, $15 for this. And uh, I'm sorry, the painting over here, uh, 150 and uh, it didn't take too long to make this, you know. So 15 for this. This guy, I don't really want to sell, to be honest with you. This is amazing. I just fell in love with it. This is your, just your icon. Especially, speaking of icons like that pickup, I mean, look at that. Classic Harley Davidson electric lines, probably still made to this day with all the chrome and all the ornate details. Just beautiful. This is probably, I think, a, but this one looks like it's a 50s model because it's got the seat there with the spring that's kind of like sticking out, you know. Uh, 15 bucks, firm. Speaking of $15, $15 for this amazing, amazing uh, uh, 83 Buick uh, Regal line with the Concorde, no less in the back. Just an amazing, amazing ad. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, this guy's not for sale. This actually, this, this uh, poster was a gift from a subscriber. And thanks again, guy. I don't remember your name, whoever you are. So, I don't know, I had it, and I had this frame, and I'm like, you know what, this is really cool. But if you by any chance have anything, as you can see, I'm interested in, like old magazines, ad, things like that, I would consider trading it, because I never sell I never sell anything people give me, unless, of course, I'm no longer friends with them or something, you know? Fantastic. Speaking of the air, uh, aircraft theme, is this 56 Plymouth Belvedere with the, looks like a Sabre jet in the back there. Very cool, very groovy. Great shape. I'm just gonna put my light back on here. I don't think it'll make a difference, though, but. Ow! Jeez, that's hot. Woo! Dang. Let's go over here. This guy here. Yeah, beautiful original ad. 20 bucks. Frame myself, of course. Nice old wood frame. Some people won't dig that because, you know, the frame's not black or whatever, but some people will because it, it just fits with the car, you know. Here's a guy I just put, I just put, 
moments ago on uh, for sale. Yeah, that's right, Chrysler Turbine, or some people call it Turbin. Not mass produced. Extremely rare today, extremely valuable. Jay Leno has one. Uh, flawless, except for that spot right here where there's tape in the back of the ad for a tear. I don't know if I did that, but uh, beautiful. Look at that, 1949 orange drink ad. Uh, yeah, by the way, 15 for that. 15 for this guy, the orange drink ad. 10 bucks for this one because the frame cost me peanuts. That's a 1959, I think, Pennzoil ad with a, you can see there's a checker taxi there. Station attendant, taxi driver, great gift for a taxi driver. 59 uh, Mercury Park Lane, I think. Beautiful ad. I'm trying to get this light. Ah, a little out of here though. It's a little bit in the way. Beautiful. Yeah, 15 bucks. This is $10. I picked this up not long ago. This is neat. This is an article. It looks to be from a magazine or a book. Somebody actually blew it up and laminated on wood. And the red, just the red alone on that is just, I don't know if I can, just, just beautiful. Look at that. Just great condition. Didn't even have to do practically any touch-ups on that. But I got it cheap, so 10 bucks. This is an amazing uh, piece. I had to relist this because I can't believe I never had any interest in it. This is a 1940, 1940 mobile gas ad with this woman who's a horseback rider. And the frame, uh, it was just so ugly. I got it cheap, but I had to repaint the whole frame by hand, as you can see. Yeah, I just repainted all that by hand with acrylic paint. You know, I, that's why I always tell people I love what I do, you know? Oh, here's another one of those little frames there, which I wasn't really able, really able to figure out what these two cars were. Not at all, I have no idea. This one's 10 like the other one. Like I said, it's probably a 50s or 60s print. I don't think... Got some vintage hubcaps here, 54 Buick. Uh, this one's got a good dent on it on the edge. But uh, I was asking like 25, but I'll take I'll take 15 for it. This this hubcap is amazing. These are hard to come by. This is a 74 or five uh, Chevy Impala cap. I don't think it's a Caprice. I don't think they had this in the Caprice, but this is a beautiful item. It's uh, 25. Of course, you see all these models I have here. Well, they're sorry. They were not for sale. These Most of these are models that I made. And I wanted to give a thanks again to uh, my friend Jack for uh, sending me uh, a couple of vintage license plates like this one. This one. This is the coolest one. 58. That was a gift from Julian. And uh, my friend Dave, of course, gave me this one here. And that painting, this little painting here is an original. One of my subscribers, uh, Mr. Smalley out of Boston, sent me this. He painted that for me. Let me take this light off here. Look at that. Amazing. He did that for my 65 Sabre. Loyal fan. Amazing. It's the second time I get a painting from a subscriber. Thanks again, buddy. Really appreciate it. It's really nice to have that. Uh, you know, if ever you want to send me something old school related, hey, please let me know. Uh, not for sale, just for my own satisfaction. I will mention you and, and show the item. This is from a uh, oh 20 year old uh, car calendar, beautiful uh, 1927 Chrysler. I was trying to get 15 for this nice vintage old chrome metal frame, uh, but I'll take uh, I'll take 10 bucks for it. I only make a couple of bucks on that. This here, this beautiful thing, my God, this is a 1923 French European Delage ad. Look at this thing. I, I mean, when I found this frame and I was going through, you know, what I should, could put in that frame, this really is, like, just perfect. It's just an amazing item. Uh, this is uh, 25. This guy, you know, I had it, I don't know, I've had it a couple of years now. I didn't really uh, think about selling it, but, you know, hey, man's got to eat, eh? So, eh, if somebody can give me 20 bucks for that, I'd be happy with that. Now, along with, speaking of old calendar pictures, look at this beauty here. It's, again, probably about from a 2000, 2001 calendar. 55 Oldsmobile, again, frame myself. Nice vintage frame. Again, I'm just, you know, sacrifice for 10 bucks. It's, it's gone. Get it out of here. Uh, this guy here, this is an original photo that I took uh, in Cornwall. In, well, there's a story behind it, but anyway, the brief story. I, I, I took this photo in Cornwall. And the gentleman who had this was from Quebec, and I, I basically met up with the two owners. The owner who bought it 
and he came up from near Toronto, I think. And uh, this is the first year for a Pontiac Parisienne. This car was pretty much all original. It had been repainted. Stunning car. I mean, it's practically mint. Uh, the guy who bought it had one very similar to that in the early 60s. So it's an original photo. There's no prints. Uh, so I, I got to get uh, no, no less than 60 bucks for that. I even repainted part of this frame because uh, it, was, uh, it was all black before and I didn't think it suited the car. Okay, there's like too many lights on the damn thing. Hey, let's see if I can turn this guy. There we go. That's a bit better. That's not great. Eh? Anyway, whatever. Listen, again, this is really more of a video for any of you who can really make it down here. Uh, you know, if you can't buy something right away and you're interested, well, hey, I'll do a layaway. You know, put a down payment on it or pay it up front. I had a guy do that uh, recently with a frame I had. Very cool. I very much appreciated like that. I really wish most people were like were like that. Not all wishy-washy. You know, say they're interested, they don't come, and then it's so annoying, you know? Uh, this is a 1964 ad. I thought it was neat. I thought the the frame fit with it, you know, with the, the colors of the blue and mauve and all that. Yeah, by the way, you know, as you can imagine, this used to be a baby room, eh? I didn't, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't exactly, uh, I, I should have repainted this room. I really should have, even more than my room, because my room is like a baby blue, but, you know, it, it does add, though, to an old school look to it, so whatever. Here's the American La France that I finished uh, earlier in the year. And here's a, an original photo I took in Granby, Quebec in uh, 1999, I think, 2000. Yeah, 72 Mercury Marquis. And it's 20 bucks, original item. 19 rare 51 Buick Hubcap, very rare. I was asking 25, I'll take 20 for it. Look at that, it's in great condition, even though it's in driver condition. It's not smashed or anything. Beautiful sombrero type. I think they only did that two years. And that's about it, guys. Uh, here we got this guy here. Old coffee type sign here. This I got from the Dollarama a year, few years back. Give me five bucks, it's yours. And by the way, if you're welcome to come here, and have any requests for old car ads, look, these are, this is a whole bunch of my ads right here. This is all American cars. This is all European, Japanese. And then I've got everything else in other drawers, you know, whether it be fashion, Coca-Cola, tobacco, uh, automotive parts, tires, all kinds of stuff. You know, there's ads. I got ads everywhere here. Look, I recently listed this here. You know, 1993 Sonoma ad. It's like, look, I got framed ads here. 63 Corvette. You know. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that's it. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, like I said, please don't hesitate to come on down. I mean, my whole apartment is pretty much like a transportation museum. You're going to really be like, if you love transportation and old cars specifically, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, Christmas is coming, man. Today's the, uh, the 9th of December. Uh, so I'm going to be posting this right away. And right now it's evening time. So, uh, yeah, I mean, make an appointment with me. Drop me a line. Uh, you can also call me at 514-598-1773 or text me. Uh, and, you know, again, I got ads in here you can come and see. And if they're not framed, uh, I can sell them framed if, if you'd like. You know, either on the spot if it's possible, if I have the frame where you can come back if you don't live too far, you know. I'm at 1616 Cuvillier Street, C-U-V-I-L-E-E-R, Cuvillier. And that's in Hot Chalaga. I'm, uh, if you're by Bus and Metro, I'm... Uh, Oh, a 10 minute walk uh, south of Joliet Metro Station. I'm near the Jacques Cartier Bridge, so you can easily come from the South Shore. I'm very flexible uh, in terms of, uh, you know, making deals, but I mean, I'm not going to give my things away either, you know? Uh, so I'll give you a last, one last look here, real quick. Yeah, this one, certain things, like I said, I just, that Regal ad is too much. And this here also, I don't care if I don't sell that really. You know, this one really is for the Hyundai fan, by the way. Yeah, this one should be sold. I mean, Jeeps are hotter than ever. They were always popular, but really more than ever, because they, they're, they're, they're SUVs, they're 4x4s. And again, it's, it's the only vehicle that really has not essentially changed in design compared to everything else there is, you know.
so thank you for watching guys take care all the best stay safe and give me a holler let's do some business you know this reminds me of a guy I had a guy I remember a few months ago he came here man he spent like oh my god I don't know almost two hundred dollars he bought so many frames I had in the wall that's that's how I price things to sell to go you know uh, I'm not uh, I'm not made of stone here so anyway thanks for watching guys take care bye bye